Hello, I'm David Hayes and welcome to your Euro Tour Guide What's On This Week podcast. Lazy days, keeping cool by the pool or in the beach is top of most people's to-do lists. However, when the sun goes down, lazy it is not. The cooler evening temperatures really heat up the calendar events with a whole host of varied and exciting programmes for us all to enjoy, all of which can be viewed for free on Euro Tour Guide. Starting our weekly roundup in the Costa Blanca South and Dolores, where the Feria and Fiesta offers various events including parades, dancing shows, music bands, a ploughing competition, medieval market, horse dressage, traditional livestock market and even a cow pack competition. Yes, I said varied programmes. Guadamar del Segura's Moors and Christians continues with mock battles, parades and fireworks. Almoradi's Moors and Christians programme begins and the parades in Aspe continue. Staying near Aspe, the little village of Canalosi holds its patron saint's fiesta while Benihoffa village concludes its fiesta with a firework display. There are a couple of local medieval markets to try, one in Los Montesinos and the other along the Paseo in Agua Marina in the Orihuela Costa. Suidad Casada marks the start of its fiesta with a giant paella in the Plaza Blanca and music lovers are spoiled for choice in the summer months. Elche hosts the 15th Guitar Festival whilst the city's jazz festival swings on. Alicante City hosts a series of classical dance and music contests in the castle along with its summer rock and classical concerts. Torrevieja's internationally famous Habanaris competition continues over the weekend and Almoradi and Cayosa del Segura liven up their plazas with classical tunes. Wow, does the Costa Blanca North come alive as the population swells in these summer months. It is Toluda's turn to celebrate their patron saint. Traditional dancing, paella competition, fireworks and the running of the bulls are just some of the events on offer. Gata de Gorgas is in Fiesta 2 with a great fun programme featuring a lot of live music bands. Halon will be honouring Santo Domingo with a whole host of activities bringing the locals together. And Cayosa de Saria hosts its traditional dances featuring typical dances from the region, making this a great cultural experience. Ondara continues with its fiesta and yet more start in Altea la Vuela. Calpe will be honouring the Virgin de la Nievas with a whole array of day and nighttime events. Staying on the coast, get up very early on Sunday the 28th, 4.45am to be precise, and head to Villa Joyosa for the magnificent disembarkation and battle, part of the incredible Moors and Christians event, which holds an international tourist interest status. Summer concerts continue in Benidorm, Altea, Javier, Alicante, Alfaz del P and Denia. Finally, in the events in and around the Costa Calida, the fifth folk group competition takes place in Santiago de la Ribera, and the village of San Cayetano holds a concert this weekend as part of their ongoing fiesta programme. Susina's Flamenco Fiesta concludes with a gala performance on Saturday night and there is a free concert in the Plaza Ayantamento in Cartagena City as the Mar de Musicas comes to an end. Alternatively, you might prefer to take a cruise around Cartagena Port to the saxophone music on the tourist boat. Calasparo's Patron Saint Fiesta programme begins and Totana's massive one concludes with yet another beer party, concert, artisan market and a model aeroplane meeting. Moritella has three string bands taking part in a competition, Alama de Murcia continues its series of summer concerts and the San Javier Jazz Festival finally concludes this weekend. Remember to check out the latest post section for all the events added after this podcast goes out. Please keep the emails coming in about your experiences and if you all tell one person this weekend about the podcast, it can only help us spread the word. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you next week for your free What's On podcast.